hello and welcome back to my channel it is ijoma here and in today's video we are going to learn how to make this beautiful cold skirt we are focusing on the skirt part only i did not make the top tutorial i have something like that on my channel already so we are going to be making this cold skirt for this skirt i used two yards of fabric two yards should be enough for size 8 to 10 but if you are above size 10 you should use at least two and a half yard so this is a crepe fabric a black crepe fabric and we are going to be drafting a pattern first of all because we cannot make this skirt without a pattern now we are going to draft a normal straight skirt pattern a normal straight skirt then you are free to determine the full length of the skirt i want my skirt to be long though my pattern paper is not that long so for the band of this skirt i want to make it three inches you can even make your own band four inches so i took out three inches and from there i am going to take from my waist to hip that is 10 from my waist to knee that is 19 inches you can make it 20 19 20 so i made it 20 finally at the full length just leave it that way you can make if you are sewing this skirt your full length should be at least 45 inches it should be very long it should be very very long so that the beauty will come out now i am going to rule the hip line and the knee line after ruling that i will label the two of them so that i will not get confused I have done this type of skirt severally, though the sewing method for this one is different. The sewing for this one is a kind of different, but this pattern is familiar on my channel. Now, after ruling these lines, I'm going to label the waistline. That's my waistline, my hip line, my knee line, and the full length. And this pattern paper is not on fold. After drafting the front pattern, I'll use it to draft the back pattern now i am going to take my normal waist measurements my waist is going to be normal very normal so i'm going to mark my waistline then at the hip line if your hip is 40 you divide 40 by 4 that is 10 right then go ahead and add extra 5 inches or six inches because this skirt has to be free so after dividing your hip by four add extra five inches at the knee line after dividing your after dividing add extra five inches from four to five inches i hope you understand so that it will be bigger than your normal measurement it should be five inches bigger than your normal measurement on fold remember so if, if your hip is 48 after dividing the 48 by 4 that will be 12 right you go ahead and add extra five inches then you will mark then right now i am done marking my normal skirt remember i told you guys that your measurement should be bigger than your normal measurement i will cut out the front pattern after and after cutting out this front pattern i will use it to cut out the back pattern so for the back pattern this skirt is going to have a zipper at the back it is going to have a zipper at the back so go ahead and add like one inch or 1.5 for your zipper allowance you are free to determine how big you want your zipper allowance to be now i added just 1.5 for my zipper allowance then i'll go ahead and cut out the other side of the skirt after cutting this out please ensure to label the back part of this skirt label it so that it will be so that you will not get confused you are going to label the center front and then the center back you can see i wrote c here for the center front cb for the center back now i am going to close the side of this pattern so you know let me turn the other pattern the back pattern i'll go ahead and extend the line on the other side of the paper so that i will not i will not get confused we are going to close this pattern we are going to close this pattern this skirt does not have any side seam that means we are going to close our side seam on our paper so now i am trying to close the side seam make sure that the full length is equal using my cello tape i'm going to close the side seam then this skirt is also going to have a joining at the center front it will have a joining at the center front and at the center back 
but the side would not have any joining you will not have any joining at the side now i am going to continue closing the side seam i'll close from the knee line to the hip line then after closing from the knee line to the hip line you know the waistline will be difficult to close right so what you are going to do is that you will slash the front from the hip line at the hip line you will slash the front so that you can be able to close the side seam of the waistline area so i am done closing it i'll use my cello tape to hold it down now the next step we are going to do is to slash this pattern paper we are going to do the slash and the slashing and spreading so that we can get the cool shape of this skirt now i am going to mark the straight lines where i am going to be slashing from i am marking the lines where i will slash from you are free to mark your lines your lines should be like four four inches away from each other or three three inches away from each other i'll continue marking until i get to the desired place that i want your slashing should stop at at least 15 inches before the full length 15 inches before the full length after marking this line i'll go ahead and measure i want this line to stop at 15 inches or 14 inches before the full length but make yours 15 inches after doing that i'll start slashing you will slash from the center front towards the center back from the center front towards the center back that means the center front will be wider than the center back. The center back remains the same. The measurement remains the same, but the center front will spread. And after doing this, please label your pattern paper so that you will not get confused when you are spreading them. Right now, I'll keep this pattern paper aside, and this is the fabric that I'll be using. This is two yards. I will fold the fabric into two. I'll fold it into two then i'm going to spread it on my table now you are going to cut two pieces of what you have on that pattern one for the right side one for the left side you know they will start from the center front all the way back to the center back like from the center front towards the back from the center front towards the back because this skirt does not have any side seam, remember. Now, I am going to start spreading my pattern paper. You are free to spread it as much as you can. But for me, for me, just use 3-3 three, three inches space in between each slash. Just use 3-3 three, three inches. 3 inches should be enough. 3 to 4 inches, but 3 inches is very okay. Now, I am trying to spread this um, paper. You should have let's say three three inches space or gap between each paper now after spreading i will connect the center front using my chalk i will add one inch or half an inch seam allowance at the center front this seam allowance is really important because the center front we have a joining remember now using my chalk i am going to connect this area you can add one inch or half an inch seam allowance all the way down to the full length and after doing that we will start cutting i will cut out the waistline of the skirt then i will cut out the center back the center back measurement remains the same you will not slash through the center back your slashing should stop at the center back exactly you will not spread the center back you will only spread the center front right now i am cutting the center front and after cutting it out i will show you guys what i have i have two pieces here one for the right and one for the left so if i open up this fabric you can see what i have you can see the shape i have there so joining this skirt is very easy the joining process is really really easy just go ahead and close the center front run a straight stitch down now i am done closing the center front you can see my stitch i am done closing the center front then open up your skirts after opening it up go ahead and iron iron properly so that this seam allowance will be flat now i am done ironing the skirts i opened the seam allowance and i ironed I'm trying to trim off the excess part. 
Then after ironing, you would turn the skirt to the right side. So this is the right side of the skirt and this line is the center front line. What you are going to do now is that you will start pleating this skirt and the pleats should be facing the waistline. It should be facing up. You can see how I'm pleating it and the pleats should be very big. If you pleat, you pin. Then you also pleat the second one. You should pleat, let's say, four times highest. Then your pleats should be very bold and they should be very close to the waistline. Very, very close to the waistline. So I am pleating. It depends on how full you want this split to be, but your pleat should be very, very close to your waistline. And this is at the center front. So after doing this, I'll go ahead and run a stitch at the center front. So this is the last pleat, though I did not use it later. I, I felt it was too much. I had to remove the last pleat. Just go ahead and run a straight line at the center front to hold down the pleat. Now, I am done holding down the pleat. And if I open up the skirt, you can see what I have. If you want your skirt to be full, you can use a duchess fabric, a thick duchess or a thick crab right now i am going to close the center back we are done with the center front i will close the center back of this skirt i will use one inch for the center back or 1.5 remember the measurement to use for your zipper so i'm going to mark the 1.5 straight down to the full length of this skirt and remember to leave um your zipper allowance space your zipper allowance to stop at the hip line then now i am done closing the back part and i'm turning out the skirt after turning out the skirt this is what we have now we are going to cut out our band you know this skirt has a band we are going to cut out the band my band should be 3.5 because I took out 3 inches for the band, remember? So the band is 3.5. I will fold. Then I will take my waist measurements plus extra 3 inches for the zipper allowance. You know, the band should accommodate the zipper allowance also. Then after cutting out the band, I will go ahead and fix it. If you want, you can add a thick interface to this band. It is important as well. You can add a thick interface to the band. Now, I am going to add this band to my waistline and that will be all for this skirt. You can hem the, the full length and after fixing the band, you will add your zipper. So this skirt is really easy, though it is not beginner friendly. It is not a beginner topic. At the end of the day, this is what I have. I am done fixing my band. And the next thing that I will do right now is to add my zipper. If I turn the back part, this is my zipper allowance. So just fix your zipper and hem the full length. And that is all for the skirt. At the end of the day, this is what we have. I hope our tutorial is understandable. Thank you all so much. And do not forget to click on the like button. Click on the not notification button and subscribe. See you all later.